Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Now, you probably have heard about the new Mixtral 8x7 billion model, which is available and has increased a lot of noise around it because it's quite interesting to have these experts um, and to figure out the performance of this model. Now, the problem with this model so far has been that uh, for most people, it is not really feasible to run it simply because it's too large. So you need too much compute resources. So the only option we had um, was actually to use some kind of cloud resources to rent them. But of course, this costs money. And if you want to try it out just to see what the poems is and play around a little bit with it, then, um, well, what can we do to have it for free? Well, in here, we have a new option uh, created by these three contributors. So kudos to them. Uh, they have created a GitHub repo, which is this one here. And this allows us to run it on Colab uh, for free. So we can use the free version of Google Colab to run this. And if you go to the repo itself, I also post it in the comment section so you can, uh, or the description of the video, so you can simply click on a link and have a look. And then if you open the notebook, you should be able to go to Google Colab. It all, only requires a, a Google account, so a free account. And uh, then you can actually get started with this. You can read through it. And you can also see that it requires here 11 gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabyte of VRAM. And all you need to do is just choose in the environment setting when you uh, actually start the notebook that you want to have the um, GPU version of uh, Colab, then you get a free GPU for the session. And then you can also see if you take a look at the resources itself that uh, it's close, really, and you can see it, we use around 12 gigabyte of RAM for GPU, around 10 gigabyte or 11 gigabyte of RAM for system RAM, which is also specified here. And you can see it's almost close to the maximum, which is available for free. So if you don't have uh, Google Pro, uh, the Cola Pro account, but you can see that we can run it on a three account. And then you can actually run the individual cells to see how that works. And you can go through it and uh, then importing all these libraries. So they also can see that they use from Transformers library, so from Hugging Face actually, Auto Config and Tokenize and so on. But you do not need really need to understand all the configuration options because you can simply run the cells and then they're going to use this mixture of model, the version of it, the quantized, uh, quantized version. So of course they don't use the full weights, but they use some kind of um, shrinking, so quantization and so on. Um, but then you can see here the configuration. And finally, of course, if you want to run the model here, you can run it. And then you basically run, uh, well, a while choose or a loop until you stop it. And then you can ask a question here. And you can see that it's just a, an input box like this one where the user, in this case me, or when you run it, you can then insert the question itself and then you can actually uh, let the model run and return the result in here. You can see that I uh, asked just about uh, 10 great animes of 2023 and you can clearly see that the model tells me that it does not have uh, the, uh, the reference to that because it was not trained on this data, but it gives me then alternative results here. As you can see here, there is DevNote and Tech and Titan, Full Metal Alchemist and so on. So you can read through them and then decide for yourself whether you agree with the model or not. But the point is that you can clearly see that you can run the new mixture model, this 8x7 billion model, on a free uh, Google Colab account. And with the repo, it's really quite simple because all you need to do is actually run um, or just go on the link from the GitHub repo, as you can see here, just click on this one and then can run the real cells. And then you get actually uh, this um, output here, this demo, and they can actually ask your questions in here. And feel free to check out and also then compare it uh, to other large language models. For instance, GPT 3.5 or 4, or of course, um, the Gemini from, from Google or other kinds of models you want to try. But um, this, as I said, is one option. You can use this call completely free. All you need to do or have is actually a Google account and then make sure when you run this notebook that you choose uh, the GPU version of the Colab notebook and then you can get started. Okay, so that's actually it for this video. So now you know how you can run this for free. Please give this a go. Also feel free to share your results. So do you think it is a great model, gives good results or you think it is not that good? So I'm interested in your thoughts. Otherwise, if you have not done so far, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me and also makes me happy to create new videos for you. So thanks a lot. Take care and then see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.